Hi, everyone. About a minute on Ford CEO Jim Farley, who apparently is just finding out that it takes a long time to charge electric vehicles. Um, before I go on, I got to say, in the annals of corporate cluelessness, this ranks near the top of the list in terms of uh, a disconnected individual who's heading a large company and doesn't know the reality of the world that he is selling products into. Um, so that's the preface. Here's the story. So Farley, the CEO of Ford, uh, on Sunday put a video up up on Twitter that it where he's documenting his travel in a Ford F-150 Lightning, that's their EV, uh, where he's driving from Silicon Valley to Las Vegas. And he's finding out, duh, that it takes a long time to charge his car. So here's what he said. He's, they, they filmed this while he's driving. Here's the quote. The charging has been pretty challenging. He goes on. I went to a low speed charger. It took me about 40 minutes to get to 40%. I remember a feeling of a, a, a gasoline fuel vehicle takes about three or four minutes, maybe, if that. He goes on, but it was a really good reality check, and it showed the challenges our customers go through and the importance of fast charging and what we are going to have to do to improve the charging experience. Well, no duh, a really good reality check. You would think that maybe Ford and some of the other people at Ford, one of the world's oldest automakers, would have considered this before the company committed to spend $50 billion building EVs. I've written about this on my Substack. Ford is losing $73,000, about $73,000 for every EV it sells. And it is planning to increase its EV production tenfold. And now suddenly the CEO of the company goes on a road trip and finds out, oh, hey, charging takes a long time. Uh, well, no joke. This has been one of the problems for EVs forever. And now the CEO of Ford is just now finding this out. Um, this wouldn't matter, except that federal taxpayers are footing a lot of the bill for what Ford is trying to do. What, what do those include? A $9.2 billion low interest loan from the federal government and as much as $6.7 billion in subsidies under the Inflation Reduction Act for a battery factory that Ford is building in Marshall, Michigan. So Ford is, is trying to socialize the cost, privatize the profits, and yet here's the CEO finding out, oh, charging these cars takes a long time. Yeah, a really good reality check. Um, <laughs> I'll stop there. Uh, I've written about Ford several times on my Substack. You can check it out there, robertbryce.substack.com. Thanks a lot. See ya.